Hey everybody and thank you for picking Kaylee. Today's video is going to be on repotting my sprouted pepper seeds. If you have been following along in this series, you know that I first planted my seeds in those red solo cups. Um, as they got their secondary leaves, I put them outside down beneath our patio, technically not on our property. And when I came home from work, they were gone. So I had to sprout new pepper seeds and put them in our this container. Um, I planted them separately in six different holes and they all can join together in this little middle part. And I don't know how that happened. I'm sure the roots just pulled them together. Um, so today I'm going to be taking them because they are getting their secondary leaves and repotting them into just bigger containers so that they are by themselves in these containers. For materials today, we will be using um, little containers about five inches wide and about four to five inches deep. So this is an actual potting container. These are old salsa containers that I have and all these are Talenti containers because Jake loves his Talenti ice cream and we are using containers. I have water over here and then for these containers, because they don't have drainage, I'm going to be using, like in the pepper video, my little stabber guy, and creating drainage holes in the plastic cups in my little inlet bucket. And then we are going to use the fertilizer that I created, the banana peel eggshell fertilizer, as the, a little teaspoon in each of these for their roots to grow strong for a healthy plant like I always say. <laughs> so those are the materials that you will need. Oh, and organic potting mix. I will not use my compost this time. I'm sitting on my compost. My compost is going to be used when I put them into the um, one and a half gallon containers when they're just a little bit bigger. Step one is to create your drainage holes in whatever containers you're using. And if you already have drainage holes, don't worry about it. You can skip this step. So I'm just going to create a big I'm cracking it, which is nice. I'll get even more drainage out of those cracks. holes and large cracks which is perfect exactly what I need and the water can escape through those cracks and I will sit here and do the rest and then we'll move on to step two. Step two is going to be adding our potting soil in here with our fertilizer from that I created in the last video so it's going to be about a teaspoon. So first we're going to add the soil And I want to explain why I'm using, I'm not putting them in their primary pots that they're going to go in because since they have all conjoined together in the middle, that means their root structures have started to grow together as well. And when I tear them apart, I'm going to try my best not to tear them, but it's almost impossible not to. Um, they are going to go into shock and will need immediate water and go immediately into the soil. Um, for them to kind of stabilize, but I'll probably lose half of them due to them getting torn and going into shock. And I don't want that to happen. And also I don't want them to plant them into big containers using all of my potting soil mix and using my fertilizer and then them dying and having that wasted. So I just want to first have them in these smaller containers, see how they do, and then I can repot them when they're about four to five inches, I feel better about that I wouldn't be wasting so much soil and fertilizer mix. <laughs> Third step is to add the fertilizer. So I'm going to do about a teaspoon, put it on top, and then I'm just going to mix it around in here. Make sure that's all. You've got well aerated soil and soil that's going to drain and 
also um, pepper plants are heavy feeders, so you just really want nutrient-dense soil for your pepper plants, and especially as they grow bigger, they are very heavy, heavy feeders. So perfect. Now we have perfect containers. I'm gonna do so step four is taking these and transplanting them, and we had to go quick, and I had to water them immediately. So I'm gonna first kind of break up the soil. work with the end ones first and then move on and I'm going to pick the best ones that I think um. okay so I have the rest of the soil a couple of root structures and I'm just going to throw this in my compost um. Still good soil, and I'm just gonna my compost over here. Let that fill back up the nutrients. It's also good grounds for my compost, and I always add stuff into it. So now I have planted everything. Look at this table, all the dry nettles. <laughs> so messy. Um, so I will give you updates on how these guys are going. Um, I don't think. All of them will make it, but I think I'll have at least five plants from here that'll grow big and beautifully. I'm a little worried that I had to do two for each container. That just means I have to transplant them quicker because their root structures will fill up this whole container within about three weeks. And then I'll have to repot them again into their final place that they're gonna grow into a beautiful pepper plant. So a little bit on um, watering. They need a lot of water, they are heavy feeders, so I would say twice a week you would have to water them. Um, it's about 104 out right now, and if I put them down in the sun down there and I've talked to my landscaping people, they're going to protect them so that no one throws them out. Um, they are just going to need more water because the sun's going to hit this and heat it up and um, it's just going to evaporate that water quickly. I also am going to mulch them with some grass clippings from when they clip our glass. They do it every Thursday and Friday, so I'm just gonna put some grass on the layer to just kinda keep that moisture in. I recommend you doing that. Um, they just landscape, so I don't have any leaves out there right now, but I'm gonna do it by the end of this week. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna mulch the tops of them, see how well they do, and hopefully I get a couple pepper plants out of here. And so, thank you for picking Kaylee. Um, comment, like, and give me suggestions below. Um, I just try to use what I have available, and hopefully this works out and I get some awesome pepper plants out of here. So thank you for watching.